Hi, I'm Clint Engel with Furniture Today. We're in Brandywine, Maryland at Regency Furniture, our first stop on the On the Road retail tour at Furniture Today. And with uh, Mark Stewart, who's the president of Regency. Well, first, let me start off by asking you about the 4th of July weekend. How, how was business? Uh, business over the 4th of July weekend was um, extremely good. Uh, not only was the uh, day itself the main event on Monday, but the whole four-day event was very strong. Up over last year? Uh, yes, significantly over last year. And across all brands? Uh, across all three. Okay, and that's what I wanted to ask you about. You operate Regency Furniture as a top 100 company, but you operate under three names, Regency Furniture, Ashley Home Stores, and then Marlowe Furniture, which you acquired in 2012, I think. Tell me a little bit about the differences. How do you, and does the consumer know that uh, you operate all three, and how do you distinguish between the three? Uh, no, the consumer does not know that all three brands are affiliated. Um, we differentiate the brands. We target the Marlowe Furniture brand to be a, a higher-end brand, mid to upper. Regency is at a uh, more of an affordable price point, and Ashley brand, national brand, actually, you know, they target the uh, lifestyle consumer. And I'd ask some people to, if they have a question, to shoot it to me on Twitter. And I had one uh, that th the question was, you operate under three different name plates. Have you ever considered consolidating down to one? We've considered it, of course. You know, we think of all aspects of the business and what it would take to um, uh, make the business thrive. And the position we took was, you know, Marlowe, when we acquired them in 2012, they've been in the market for... 60 years and that's a lot of name recognition and brand recognition that you hate to give up so or Ashley home stores they are um, a national brand can't consolidate those in and Regency is who we are uh, and Regency you are you you've already announced that you have plans to expand into Phil the Philadelphia market with up to upwards of eight stores can you tell me where you stand on that expansion right now uh, yes, that is um, well underway. We've acquired a warehouse in Philadelphia already. We are actually, we bought it and we are in the process of expanding it as we speak to accommodate up to eight stores in the Philadelphia market with the idea of moving uh, the Regency brand into uh, the Philadelphia market. How soon? Um, early 2017, we should be up and running. Great. Thank you, Mark. World. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for coming by.